Hi, I'm Marin Alsop, music director of the Baltimore Symphony Orchestra. And this is a program really about stories. The opening piece by Richard Strauss tells the story of a prankster called Till Eulenspiegel. We meet Till Eulenspiegel at the very opening, and he's represented by, initially by this theme in the horn. Ba, 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 da, ba, 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 ba. And you can tell that he's mischievous because you can't quite find the beat. You know, he's always tricking you. And then every time he starts to get into trouble, you hear this little ba da 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 be da 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 That's his um, mischievous uh, little theme. So it's all about his escapades. And the program ends with one of the biggest story pieces in all the literature, which is Igor Stravinsky's Firebird. It has big giants and big monsters, you know, all sort of over the top kind of story. And then in the middle of the program, we have two pieces that deal with story in very, very different ways. With the piece by Debussy really being almost a revolutionary piece, and yet it's the quietest piece and the most intimate of them all. It uses an interval that was almost forbidden in music. It's called a tritone, and it was often called the devil's interval. And when you hear it, you understand because it's really unpleasant and really uncomfortable, except it's in the solo flute. So the flute goes between these two pitches, so you don't really quite notice it. But the, the picture that Debussy creates is one of liquid and this idea that everything's in motion and it's almost a slow motion kind of piece. It's almost muted and yet it's revolutionary in its own way. Our soloist in the Steve Mackey piece is a fantastic percussionist named Colin Curry. He's a Scottish percussionist and I actually got to know him when he was 19 years old and I brought him to America for his debut in America and I thought he was such an incredible performer and artist then and he's only grown and matured over these years. Uh, I think if you come to hear him play you'll be impressed not only with his skill but his whole personality which just exudes music.